resistor? Did you find a hole? Hmm? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know, hold on. You're okay. Get your wits back about you. You're okay. everything. Uh, everything is out on pasture this morning or has been fed and I'm gonna have to move the boys here pretty soon. They do not have a ton of, of uh, feed left in this little paddock right here. I gotta wait till the water starts so that they have water because the ram pasture does not have any access to water other than, other than the irrigation water and I don't have hoses enough to stretch from the hydrant right here all the way to where they will be. So we're just waiting on water and then the boys will be out for the summer, short of who we use in two or three weeks, three weeks I think, for maybe a month, three to four weeks for breeding. But I'm going to spend my morning painting his signs. I want to at least get these two completely done. And then this afternoon, hopefully when it warms up a little bit more, I will go and finish tearing down the barn. We did, we weren't going to do any last night. And then he already had the loader running. And we're like, you know what? It's only 7 o'clock. Let's, let's get an hour's worth of work done in here. So we did. I pulled all the jugs down except for, I think, like four. And then he, he cleaned out the alleyway and then started cleaning out the nursery. And it was a little thicker than I thought it was going to be. Um, I was kind of surprised how much he was pulling up out of that the side that we had moms and babies. So. That is my day. Painting in the morning, and then after lunch, I will go and tear down. I have, like I said, I think four jugs. I need to pull out some T posts, and then all the panels um, the, so that we separate the two sides from. So it will be a fairly big afternoon. That is all I really have planned for today. Hopefully when he gets home tonight, it won't be terribly late. So, all right, I'm gonna quit talking because apparently I can't talk and paint at the same time today. And um, we will bring you back sometime after lunch where I take down the bar. I am going to let those dry. I just did the elect on them and then I need to outline them in white, but I need that to dry. I wanna check on my U. She Okay, she got up. She just couldn't get her legs under her, and I know part of it is because she wouldn't just stand still. She is no longer here, and I don't, I don't know where she is. <laughs> I don't. 
but everybody else, they're either laying down with their heads up or they're eating. Everybody, I got one in the shed. But yeah, everybody seems content, so they call that a win. So I'm hoping that this will hold them until like, I'm hoping until Thursday. Wednesday I would call a win. If I could hold them there till Wednesday, that would be good. And then I will move them over into the triangle and let them eat that down. Um, I just gotta make it to like the 15th of May and then we'll wean everything. Okay, I am over the wind today. It's not so bad when the sun comes out, but um, it's not out very, very much today because of the clouds. So I tried doing a little more painting and I just need to move back inside. It's, it's too cold for me. So I am switching gears. I am going to finish tearing down everything stop everything in the barn get that done that way whenever my husband gets to it he can do it I am hoping that within like maybe hi are you mad that we're changing things you hate it when we move things around. It won't be forever. Promise. We just gotta clean it. Dogs are definitely funny when it comes to barn clean out. They hate when we do this. It's like they think we're getting rid of the sheep or something. So anyway, um, I've got most of the jugs torn down. I just have these last like four and then the back of it um, t-posts which will need to come out we did start last night and then I need to deal with this catch pen and then all of the panels for the alleyway so that is the plan um, hopefully eventually we will get that little red tractor running for me because it is the only thing we have besides our loader that has a bucket on it. And then I can do the barn cleanup by myself. I don't have to wait for him. But my barn is not like 100% stable. Um, you'll notice we have a lot of wiggity posts that if you lean on them, they move. So. I don't feel comfortable bringing the loader in here and doing the clean out myself, especially since the headroom, besides the fact that it's not 100% stable, but there's only about maybe two inches, maybe three, if you find it a low spot uh, where the top of the loader is to these trusses up here. So these up here are only like that much above the loader. Um, I don't feel comfortable doing it. If somebody's going to bring down this barn, it's going to be my husband, not me. So that's why I wait for him. And that's why it takes a little longer because I need him here to do it. So the more of this I can get out of here. So all he has to do is scrape the barn, the better off we all are. So I'm going to spend the next hour and see how much I can get done. And hopefully he'll get home at a decent time tonight to be able to scrape out some more of this if not it'll be ready for him tomorrow now last night we did do some clean out we started uh, basically you can see how far he got he just made a couple passes we did end up getting that whole alley done of course i have hay and straw and and um dirt into my bunks now that I will have to clean out but at least we don't have to move the bunks that was my biggest fear because those are a pain so my job is to get the rest of this out so that he can go all the way to the other end 
and then once this is completely cleared out I will spend probably two days putting it all together my goal is to have the sheep in the barn by Friday cross our fingers okay I believe we are ready for whenever he gets here. This panel will just move up against there as he gets to this point. And I will swing these as needed because they are way too heavy for me. I have done them on my own in the past, but I don't move the next day. They, they are heavy even for two people, much less one. So this one is an easy move that if he wants to get in there and, and pull what little bit of hay is there but the rest of it is ready for him well the sheep definitely got all the good out of that field so i might let him have access to this alleyway there's not a lot here but we went and put them over there. So that hopefully will hold them for, I don't know, three more days. are finally getting some more of the barn cleaned out I don't know that we will get it all done today I'm basically just sitting here in case the sheep decide to come and go through the gates into spots they're not supposed to be in um, and he is hauling and there's a mouse somewhere in this pickup and it's driving me batty I can hear him and it's like he's rolling stuff but I can't find him. Anyway, the goal is to hopefully get as much as we possibly can get done today. Um, sheep really need to be in tomorrow. I just don't know that it's gonna happen, so I may, I may bring them in tomorrow and just shut all the gates in the barn because my sorting alley is still is still up um none of that will be touched so i can still get to it bring the sheep in no i can't i don't have my catch pen set up how am i going to do this easiest way would probably be if we can't get it done tonight um, it's already like quarter after seven. He's been working on this for a while already. And if we can't get it done tonight, I will probably just bring the sheep in and just leave them into, in the feedlot. That way I can keep an eye on all my fat pregnant girls that really could start dropping as soon as tomorrow. <laughs> 